dear friends here we are going to discuss that is the delay period in the last video as we already discussed about the different stages of combustion in the case of ci engine there are the four stages which are very important and in the case of this particular first stage of the combustion in the case of ci engine that is the delay period here we are going to discuss thoroughly and in detail so as we discuss with the help of this particular pressure versus crank angle diagram as this a b c g is the curve without the fuel injection taken place which describe the process of compression and the process of the expansion in the case of this particular c engine and similarly whereas curve a b c d e f h yes, this is the curve of the fuel injection taken place or the engine is motored with the actual combustion so always there is a difference between these two curve and the difference is what here a b c g here we are not getting that much amount of pressure rise when it compared with the curve a b c d e f h the main reason is what the curve a b c g the, this particular curve represents without fuel injection means there is no any kind of combustion taken place during this particular case means only air comes and only air get compressed and then expand that is there but in the curves a b c d e f h yes, what it indicates the initially air comes inside the engine cylinder it will get compressed then the injection inject or the injector inject the amount of diesel inside the engine cylinder then the combustion process start to take place and because of the combustion process here we can see there is a tremendous rise in the pressure so there is a difference between these two curve that is tremendous rise in the pressure because of the process of combustion and finally the process of the expansion will take place during the period so these two curves are there so similarly as we already discussed about the process or the stages of the combustion so start of injection point is at a point b but the actual combustion start to take place from point c itself and this period b to c is nothing but called as the delay period or the crank travel during this particular period is nothing but called as the delay period itself and this would be very much small 0.001 second like that okay so there is always some delay from the actual injection to the actual start of combustion so again there are the different types of delay period so there are two basic types of delay period here we are going to discuss one is a physical delay period and another one is a chemical delay period so as i just said the delay period is the time interval generally measured in milliseconds between the commencement of fuel injection and beginning of ignition and the combustion in actual practice the actual time is very much low sometime it is 0.001 second sometime it would 0.006 second so there are two types of the delay period one is the physical delay period and another one is a chemical delay period now what is the meaning of physical delay period so physical delay period is the time which elapses between the beginning of fuel injection and the beginning of a pre flame reaction so this much time elapses so actual beginning of the fuel injection and the actual pre flame reaction taken place and some time elapses in between this particular process that is called the physical delay period so during this period the heating and vaporization of the fuel drop and diffusion of air into the vapor layer take place okay that's why there is a some kind or some time is required physically to happening of all these things okay so such kind of a thing is nothing
but comes under the physical delay period. The result in the formation of suitable mixture of the fuel vapor and air ready for chemical reaction means after unless and until completion of physical delay period the chemical delay period will not start to take place or we can say the physical delay period results in the formation of suitable mixture of fuel vapor and air which is ready for the further chemical reaction so after understanding the physical delay period the next period is nothing but called the chemical delay period so chemical delay period it is just like a time which is required for the chemical reaction so after the physical delay period it is the time that elapses between the beginning of a chemical reaction and the beginning of ignition we know as the oxygen and fuel mixes together then the burning will start to take place this is a kind of one reaction this is a kind of one chemical reaction so throughout this particular reaction it required a very minute period of time and that is nothing but called as a chemical delay period so this is nothing but the beginning of chemical reaction and the beginning of actual ignition during this period the fuel vapor is oxidized at an ever increasing rate until ignition occurs in other words this is the period taken up by the chemical reaction to attain the point of burning or the self ignition point of that particular mixture which present inside the engine cylinder i hope you understood the things clearly about the delay period and the different types of the delay period that is nothing but physical delay period and the chemical delay period these two delay periods play very important role during the working of the ci engines so as we just discussed about the delay period and its types now here again very important thing to understand that is the different factors which affect the delay period so there are so many factors which affect the delay period in the case of ci engines one by one we are going to discuss about this particular factor the first factor which affect the delay period that is the fuel properties so under the fuel properties the different factors like the volatility latent heat viscosity and the surface tension so these four points comes under the fuel properties which affect the delay period so my dear friends please understand as the delay period is a more then there should be a always the abnormal combustion taken place inside the engine cylinder so as we already discussed b to c is nothing but the first stage of a combustion and that is nothing but called as the delay period if just imagine if this b to c if this increases then there is a always increment in the time of actual combustion so in this case what happen even though the actual injection taken place at the point b but the combustion start to take place at the point c if this gap is more if the crank travel in the degrees is more then the more amount of fuel get accumulate inside the engine cylinder and because of that incomplete combustion taken place so this is the one of the effect of the increase in the delay period and why it is happen this is happen because of the so many factors and these factors here we are going to understand the first that is nothing but as we just discussed the properties of fuel like volatility latent heat viscosity and surface tension so the different fuels has the different properties if the diesel has some properties uh, like this volatility latent heat viscosity and surface tension as well as the quality of fuel is also plays a very important role in the case of the delay period so always we have to keep the delay period in very very less that's why or in that way only we can enhance the 
efficiency of the engine or the performance of the ci engine the second factor which affecting the delay period that is the intake temperature the third one that is a compression ratio the fourth one that is the engine speed fifth one the type of combustion chamber and the sixth one that is injection advance so what do you mean by the intake temperature sometime because of the atmospheric condition the temperature of the air is more the temperature of fuel which will come inside the engine cylinder will be different one and because of that also there will be a chances of affecting the delay period sometime the compression ratio is not as per the requirement of the engine when the compression ratio required high when the compression ratio required low but it is not according to the engine design that's why there is a always chances of affecting the delay period also the engine speed is another component or another factor which affect the delay period when the engine speed is not as per the requirement of that particular things and there is a always chances of increment in the delay period okay if someone have some kind of uh, uh, what we can say uh, increase in the speed ultimately and ultimately decrease in the speed of the engine itself and that's affect the delay period itself so the type of combustion chamber the design of combustion chamber which again affect on the delay period so all these different factors which affect the delay period so dear friends always remember we have to keep the delay period very less then and then the engine performance will be increased in the case of ci engine if delay period increases definitely some abnormality taken place inside the engine cylinder so i hope you understood the things about the delay period thank you so much for watching the session thanks a lot